Have you ever been wronged? Have you ever been hurt? What is love if not lessons in life to bring us closer to our truth? That your love for you equals my love for you manifested. Your heart's truth, your heart's song, it's singing sweetly, this is where you belong. Writing your words for the world to see, singing the song of your experience and me. Who am I, that truth you feel spoken? Who are you, the patterns you have broken? Be strong in the face of all you hold dear, and if adversity strikes, remember I am near. I am the heart, the truth, the word, and I beckon to my people, don't follow the herd. The herd that has written, the future it has paved, the present full of despair for so many who do not know they can be saved. By the sweet sound of love all around you at night, and still it remains when you enter twilight. In the morning as the sun rises, love is still here. Throughout your days and evenings it beckons to you, do not fear. I am the love you know, I am the love you seek. Listen to my prayer, it is for you I speak. My prayer for you is that you stand tall and true, because only you know what is right for you. If you feel pain around you at another's hand, ask yourself why, is this what you had planned? If the answer is no, you know what to do. Stand up for yourself and for others too. It may seem daunting to find your voice. For decades it has been softened by generations before. Who when they tried to use it were beaten to the floor. Were burned for their truth, were killed for their song. And throughout the while I was weeping with them all along. The feminine forgotten, the balance unkept. And whilst it happened, the earth also wept. For you, its children and for also the land waiting for the time when the feminine again could stand. In compassion and love, devotion and truth, empathy and understanding for your planet, for those around you, for yourself, no judgment, for others the same. For to judge one another is to undeniably place blame. On a society that has created the people walking by, do you judge the homeless woman who you see begin to cry? When the world has turned against her, a cardboard box her home, do you really believe she deserves to live in this world all alone? Do you believe you deserve then the things that have happened to you? Do you believe you are destined to be burnt through and through? If the answer is yes, I beg you change your mind's tune. Show love and compassion to yourself and as hard as it can be to the one who has also hurt you. It may not be easy, it may not be fun, but when you start to do this, the real work has begun. If you show it to others and then look at yourself, you find forgiveness for the hand you have also been dealt. You forgive yourself for the things you believe you have done. Because in subjective reality, there is no right and wrong. We are all products of society, of the world we are born into. Humanity is <coughs> creation inhumane, yet the soul remains unbroken. Always present, always near, it's just waiting for you to make the choice. To let your inner voice whisper from your heart to your ear. There is a way, you know what to do. And do not fear, for I am always with you. I was here when you were born. I shall be here when you leave this world too. But along the while, guys, wouldn't it be fun to have some work to do? For I will lead you to love, to your heart's greatest desire, to that relationship, that creation to which others aspire. Then you can show them it's possible, look what I have done, and wouldn't the world be a better place for everyone? It's possible for me, they'll say, yes, it's possible for you. All you have to do is follow your heart. It's the secret, the core that will lead you. And here's the magic. It already knows what you need. It has wept in the darkness while your mind has taken the lead. But listen to its call, listen to its song, and I promise you now, I promise you, it will not lead you wrong. I was broken alone in a world full of pain. There were days I did not believe I would ever see sunlight again. A woman controlled, a woman abused, fighting for my life, always confused. I could not have made it, I did not understand. My battle was against myself, not against the elusive or abusive man. Though he reappeared time and time again, and each time I welcomed him, hello, my friend. Trapped in a world, not knowing why, believing truly the only way out was to die. And so I did, in the metaphysical sense. I shed my skins, my soul unspent. My mind dying a thousand deaths as I faced the menace of the years, facing each and every of my very own worst fears. Maybe you ask, who am I now? What well, I am seeing a man, this time his hand gentle, his face kind. And I am a woman who knows her own mind. 
who is not controlled by it or the things she has done. She believes she is worthy of finding the one. She is finding herself all along the way. But now the, di the days aren't so dark. There is love, joy and laughter along the way. I also have a passion. I write the heart's truth to heal those who are ready to be reunited with you. For my heart knows yours, its essence one and the same. Unconditional love for humanity, never boisterous, yet always waiting to lead the way. Thank you.